Hello, people. Hi, I'm here today. Um, this is a very special day. Um, like I said, last night was uh, sunset is uh, Day of Atonement. Uh, by the moon version, the new moon showed on the Feast of Trumpets, and you count 10 days up to uh, this time. And a lot of people are following the Jewish calendar, so a lot of people will do, be celebrating it in October. But uh, my husband and some other people I know who follow the moon, they are celebrating it today. So we uh, started doing our Yom Kippur uh, last night at sunset. Um, and these feasts, you know, are just reminders or shadows of things to come. And, you know, he said to remember his feasts. And so it just take you back to the time when um, people was taking sheep and goats and, and lambs and, and bulls uh, to the altar for the atoning of their sins. And and it's amazing that when the veil was split, when the veil was split, Yeshua HaMashiach, Jesus Christ, became our atoning uh, priest. And we don't need to go and take these things to the altar anymore. And soon and very soon, you're going to see over in Israel, they're going to be putting up the third temple. And they are going to have red heifers. Red heifers and all these things are going to be... Um, be coming back like the old times, you know, the Jews, they have never accepted the Messiah as the atoning priest and savior. And so they're going to go back to all these old principles. And so that's why I say we need to be really aware uh, of following these things because they are signs uh, uh, before us right now, people. And so I'm here today to celebrate the uh, day of atonement and to fast and pray before my God to let him know that I didn't forget. I'm so glad he's our high priest. I'm so glad that he ripped the veil in half and we don't have to do those things anymore. Go read numbers. Go read numbers and see all the days. Every day they had to sacrifice these animals and, and take them down for their families and doves and oh man, it's a lot of hard work. A lot of hard work. And so um, so I'm just happy to know that Jesus Christ is my personal savior. He's my atoning, uh, uh, atoning God. Uh, he's in the sanctuary where he, uh, still, uh, taking our sins up every day. And, uh, as we confess our sins, he's faithful to, to forgive us from all unrighteousness. So I'm just happy to be here today to go over some things with you today and to share some things of, of our amazing God Almighty, who is holier than holy and holy still. And uh, I'm going to be reading some material from um, I High Calling from Ellen G. White uh, about that. And also I'm going to go to the Bible, King James Version, and read from Acts 7 today, okay? And I'm going to read the whole chapter because the whole chapter is just a long, long chapter. But I'm going to read uh, from 36, Acts 7, 36, up to the last of it, uh, verse 60, because it's 60 verses in that chapter. And so I'm not going to read the whole chapter, okay? So I'm going to read some main points I want to bring out. And also... I'm going to get to some of the headlines before I go there, but I'm going to post the headlines down below uh, to save time, okay, because I do have a lot of things I want to cover today. Um, I'm just looking at some uh, material from Pastor Paul Begley on the volcano. Uh, all, I mean, all the signs, the signs in the sky, uh, ap apocalyptic. Apocalyptic. I never could say it very well. Apocalyptic signs are uh, all in around us right now. Uh, another report coming from M. Lord and God was she talking about the 5.8 earthquake that hit Oklahoma and these mega quakes about to hit America soon, people. As I know, I'm I'm really praising and and thinking about it myself. I was talking to the Lord last night and I said, Lord, oh, I hope this quake ain't about to hit California because it was really strange that um, Hillary, you know, is in the news right now, but her illness, how she uh, passed out at the 9-11 uh, gathering and they were celebrating 9-11 yesterday. And she was uh, ill and everybody's saying now, uh, Pam, thank you for the article. I'm going to just post it down below. Hillary illness, will it lead to Obama staying in office? Okay. But I was thinking about she's canceled her plans to California 
And I said, wow, she canceled her plans to California. I wonder what's going to happen in California now. So the only thing I can think about is the big quakes about to hit California. And I'm hoping that it doesn't happen. I have family. I have fam family and friends and Christian friends out there. And, and so I know that God is going to put his hand over his people and protect us. But this is the time to be leaving these coastal cities, as everybody been saying, for weeks now. And... Uh, as I shared on my video, Mina Grebin, and uh, 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 I got a friend up in New Mexico. I'm going to put his uh, separate uh, voice video down. Uh, when I get through doing this video, I'm going to try to do a separate short, short video on him telling people to leave Florida, okay? So we got all these things going on around us right now, people, as we know. Uh, another gentleman who I um, I may post this video down below. You can listen to him. It's about 20 minutes long. But he's a young man who I like to encourage young people. I like to encourage people who are doing videos for the first time. So I'm going to put his video down below. He's talking about signs in the sky. Tell our spirit that Jesus is soon to come. His prophetic dream that he had. So I'm just going to put that down below. And Fox News governor... Fox News have a, a article a video on government wants to impose martial law and new world order from the truth is out there video. I'm going to post that down below. And I'm also going to put down below USA UK headlines is talking about the United States in crisis. Uh, we have a economic crisis coming globally with the uh you know, the money collapse, and I told you this can happen any time now. Uh, he's saying it may happen in December 2016. Uh, rabbi Snyder, I don't even like to use that word rabbi much, much, because Yeshua said to call no man rabbi, no man father. But I'm going to put down an article from Rabbi Snyder, uh, The Holy Land Season 3, The Holy Land Season 3, and he's talking about overcoming temptation. So I'm going to put that down below as a special uh, message today. Um, and also, I'm going to go and read from I Hi Calling here in a few minutes. So people, I just want you to bear with me as I try to read some things today. Um, and also, I did post below, Volcano Lightens, Tornadoes, Space Center from Suspicious Observer. It was really uh, good information on uh, all the things going on around us as well. And I think that's why I'm going to call my video today, Signs in the Heavens, Signs in the Heavens, Young Kipper, the holiest day of the year, and Acts 7, uh, I'm going to read from. So, uh, pretty interesting material to cover here today. So, let's go to uh, Acts 7 right now and read. I tell you, people, it, we just, we don't have no idea how how precious we are when we give our life to Yeshua HaMashiach because he is our high priest, and he is the one that... Uh, can take away all sin, and he's the only one that can save us, okay, the only one that can save us, so I know in my last video, I was talking about idol, idol trees, idol, idols, all the idols, all the things that people want to worship besides God, everything they can uh, uh, think of that, to worship besides God, Hinduism, Buddhism, uh, Islam, Muhammad, uh, astrology, uh, uh, Kabbalah, uh, witchcraft, they can, they can think of everything to worship but Yeshua, ourselves, our children, our homes, our lands, our jobs, whatever you want to put on the, on, the, on, the, on the tabletop, you know, you want to worship all these things besides God. He said, thou shalt have no other gods before me. So I'm going to go and read from Acts, it says here, and I'm going here in Acts 7, okay? Acts 7, 36, I'm starting with 36, verse 36. He brought them out after that he had showed wonders and signs in the land of Egypt and in the Red Sea and in the wilderness 40 years. This is what Moses, which said unto the children of Israel, a prophet shall the Lord your God raise up unto you of your brethren, like unto me, him shall you hear. Him shall you hear. So, you know, Yahweh said already in the Bible, throughout the scriptures and Matthew all over, he talks about if they did not believe the prophets of old, they would not believe my son, Yeshua, HaMashiach. So we can't throw out the Old Testament, people. We can't throw out the, we just can't have the new, the new covenant, you know, as people say. We have to put them all together. The Old Testament is a blueprint uh, for us, okay? 
I told you he tells us what to eat, what not to eat. He talks about all the things that he we need to follow and Proverbs and, and, and Psalms. He gives us the uh, Psalms of, of David, you know, where he uh, he had poetry. I call it poetry. And, you know, and, and Psalms and Proverbs is just like poetry and, and psychology to me, you know, for man, for, for our life, for how to live, you know. And so we need to be knowing the Bible is a blueprint for our whole life, not just for part of our life, but for the whole entire life. And I just love it so much. And I'm learning more every day myself as I'm studying and testing, studying and uh, teaching you as well. I'm teaching myself. So, uh let me go ahead and finish this. So it says, you know, a prophet shall the Lord your God raise up unto you of your brethren, like unto me here, him shall you hear. This is he that was in the church in the wilderness with the angel which spake to him in the Mount Sinai and with our fathers who received the lively obstacle, the lively oracles, oracles to give unto us, to whom our fathers would not obey, but thrust him from him, thrust him from them, and in their hearts turn back again into Egypt. Like I said in another video, everybody turning back to Egypt. They do not want to follow what Yeshua wants us to do. They want to follow man, follow man, okay? So they turn back to Egypt, saying unto Aaron, make us gods to go before us. For as for this Moses, which brought us out of the land of Egypt, we wot not what is become of him. And they made a calf in those days and offered sacrifice unto the idol and rejoiced in the works of their own hands. What they doing that today? Everybody's rejoicing in the works of their own hands. I was telling you about the, uh, when I read about the earthquake uh, that's going to hit uh, San Francisco. And they had put up this bridge, extended bridge. And if you go read the article, they are bragging about how this bridge is earthquake proof and, oh, you know, it, nothing can ever happen. It'll never, it'll never come down. And just like they did the Titanic and, and God is saying, oh, wow, uh, they are foolish men to think that way, to put uh, trust in their own selves and making gods of themselves and all the stuff that man does, okay? But Yahweh have shown me in a dream that that bridge is going to come down. It's going to snap like a rubber band. And I'm telling you people, everything that man make is man-made. It's not God-made, okay? It's like I told you about the heart, how, how, how great the heart is made and how wonderful the heart is made. Who would you want to serve? Somebody that made a heart and hands and feet and eyes, or you want to serve somebody out there that's full of rock, wood, and stone? So we need to be following Yeshua HaMashiach, giving our life to him, people. I preach this every time to give your life to the Savior, because soon and very soon time is running out, and he will come very soon. Okay, this is, uh, let me go ahead and go ahead here, verse 39. I'm reading from Acts uh, again. Uh, I'm on the 39th verse, okay? Acts 7, 39th verse. To whom my fathers would not obey and trust, thrust him from them, and in their hearts turn back again to Egypt, saying unto Aaron, Make us gods to go forth. Make us gods to go before us. For as for this, Moses, which brought us out of the land of Egypt, we walked not what is to become of him. And they made a calf in those days and offered sacrifice unto the idol and rejoiced in the works of their own hands. Then God turned and gave them up to worship the host of heaven, as it is written in the book of the prophets. O ye house of Israel, have you offered to me slain beasts and sacrifices by the space of 40 years in the wilderness? Yea, ye took up the tabernacle of Moloch and the star of your god Remphan and figures which you made to worship them, and I will carry you away beyond Babylon. Our fathers had the tabernacle of witness in the wilderness as he had appointed speaking unto Moses that he should make it according to the fashion that he had seen, which also our fathers that came after a brought in with Jesus into the possession of the Gentiles, whom God drave out before the face of our fathers into the days of David, who found favor before God and desired to find a tabernacle for the God of Jacob. But Solomon built him a house, 
how built the most high dwelleth not in temples made with hands. Praise God for that. You can worship him anywhere, people. Anywhere you want on this planet, you can worship Yeshua HaMashiach. You can, he's like the live cell phone. You know, you don't need to have to be. He can hear you anytime, day or night. You don't have to worry about it. He hears us, people, when, he, when we really sincere and heart and cry out to him. So he said nobody can build him. Uh, 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 he, how be it the most high dwelleth not in temples made with hands uh, saith the prophet heaven is my throne and the earth is my footstool what house will you build me saith the Lord uh, what is the place of my rest hath not my hand made all these things ye stiff necked and uncircumcised and hard in ears you do always resist the Holy Ghost as your fathers did and so do ye which of the prophets have not your fathers persecuted? And they have slain them which showed before of the coming of the just one, of whom ye have been now the betrayers and murderers, who have received the law by the disposition of angels and have not kept it. When they heard these things, they was cut to the heart, and they gnashed on him with their teeth. But he, being full of the Holy Ghost, looked up steadfastly into heaven and saw the glory of God and Jesus standing on the right hand of God and said, Behold, I see the heavens open and the Son of Man standing on the right hand of God. Then they cried out with a loud voice and stopped their ears and ran upon him with one accord and cast him out of the city and stoned him. And the witnesses laid down their clothes at a young man's feet, whose name was Saul, and they stoned Stephen, calling upon God and saying, Lord Jesus, receive my spirit. And he kneeling down and cried with a loud voice, Lord, lay not this sin to their charge. And when he had said this, he fell asleep. So people, I'm just reading it to let you know, we worship a most high and holy God, and he's not made in buildings. You know, these buildings are coming down. These churches are coming down because the churches are full of abominations before God right now on this planet, full of abominations, uh, uh Adultery, witchcraft, uh, fornication, uh, you know, what can I say, homosexuality, all things. And witchcraft is in these churches, people. That's why he said, come out and be separate, come out and be separate. So now I'm going to go read here from uh, Hi, I, Hi, I, Hi, Colin. I'm going to read some things from here. I'm going first to page, uh, uh, let me see what page here, page uh our great brotherhood one great brotherhood i'm gonna read a little bit from that on page 171 that i'm gonna go over here to 213 213 okay it says here you know i tell people all the time that i just read it to you from the bible that god dwelleth not in temples made with hands you know he don't need a temple made with hands i i know people make statues and virgin mary and all these things and they say oh we got to go down and bow we got to bow before the throne we got to bow before the statute you know god is an invisible god he's everywhere he's a spirit he's everywhere people he can be in your hospital he can be in your in your on your job he can be in the grocery store he can be anywhere i talk to people all the time anywhere anywhere on the planet whether no matter where they are you can always go into all the world and preach the gospel and talk to people and God would be in the midst of you he said where two or three are gathered I'm in the midst so we know he's everywhere people so we need to just give our life to him go in your bedroom wherever you want to meet him at and give your life to Yeshua HaMashiach today because this is the time this is the day of salvation he is coming very soon people one great brotherhood now I beseech you, brethren, by the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, that ye all speak the same thing, that there be no divisions among you, that ye be perfectly joined together in the same mind and in the same judgment. 1 Corinthians 1.10 We have one Lord, one faith, one baptism. The gospel of Christ is to reach all classes, all nations, all tongues and people. The influence of the gospel is to unite in one great brotherhood. We have only one model that we are to imitate in character building. And then we all shall have 
of Christ's mold. We shall be in perfect harmony. Nationalities will blend in Jesus Christ, Yeshua HaMashiach, having the same mind and the same judgment, speaking the same things, and with one mouth glorifying God. This is the work the world's Redeemer is to do for us. If we accept the truth as it is in Jesus, national prejudice, listen to that, what she's saying is true. If we well, if we accept the truth as it is in Jesus and Yeshua HaMashiach, national prejudices, prejudices and jealousies will be broken down and the spirit of truth will blend hearts in one. We will love as brethren. We will esteem others better than ourselves. We will be kind and courteous and meek and lowly, easy to be entreated, full of mercy and great fruits. God knows just how to meet the peculiarity, our peculiarities of different nationalities. The third angel's message is to, to, to unite the people to do a special work, preparing them with perfection of character to unite in one great family in the mansion, mansions that Christ has gone to prepare for those who love him. The truth is all powerful and far reaching. It will unite nationalities in one great brotherhood. Christ in men unites them on one grand platform, preparing for the uniting in one family in heaven. It is the truth that makes men one and removes national prejudice. The truth will have the same molding influence upon hearts wherever, whatever the nationalities. Amen. Every human heart that accepts the truth will bow to the majesty of its sway. And when Christ is abiding in the heart by faith, they will be a one mind for Christ is not divided. They will be strong in his strength. <sighs> Hallelujah. Strong in his strength, happy and united in his peace. The truth is the same and is subduing power upon all hearts. It will ref refine and enable the heart of the receiver. And people, that's right. We have one great brotherhood in Yeshua. One great brotherhood in Yeshua because he is the holy of holy. And he is the only one can save us all. We have all these prejudice going on, all this racism going on. Me and my husband, are, you know, he's black, I'm white. And we always having these problems, you know, with people wanting to, we want to rent a place one time. We want to rent a nice duplex one time. And we go down uh, and, and sign up for the place. And then we come out and, and we go to the bank and get the, uh, the down payment on the, you know, our uh, down payment on the on the on the duplex, and we come back, and the and the lady say, oh, uh, oh, she had to go for the day, and we don't know if we got this gonna work out, and you know, they're always doing this, you know, they just divide you, they want to divide you, they want to keep you in this in this bondage on this earth, you know, this prejudice, this racism that goes on all around the planets where we are, and you know, Yahweh would not put up with it, people. If you hate your brother whom you have seen, how can you love me who you have not seen is what Yeshua is saying to us people. So this racism need to get away from us. We need to understand. We need to love one another as he have loved us. And that's what he is saying to us all the time. And I'm going to go here now and read from uh, read from this, this one here on holier than holy. Let me see the picture. 213. I'm going to 213 and read. But I'm telling you people, we are living around all this stuff right now and we need to give it up. We need to give it up. Go to the throne of grace and, and ask God to forgive you. If you have racism in your heart, if you have prejudice in your heart, if you have all these things in your mind and your soul, you need to let him clean you up, people. Clean you up, okay? Day of Atonement. I'm just reading it because it's Day of Atonement. Holier, yea, holier still. For this is the will of God, even your sanctification. 1 Thessalonians 4.3. Our sanctification is God's object in all his dealing with us he has chosen us from eternity that we might be holy christ gave himself for our redemption that through faith in his power to save from sin we might be made complete in him made complete in him as christians we have pledged ourselves to fulfill the responsibilities resting on us and to show to the world that we have a close connection with god Thus, through the good work 
through the good words and works of his disciples, Christ is to be represented and honored. God expects of us perfect obedience to his law. This law is the echo of his voice saying to us, holier, yea, holier still, desire after the fullness of the grace of Christ, yea, long hunger and thirst after righteousness. The promise is ye shall be filled. Let your heart be filled with a longing for his righteousness. Hallelujah, hallelujah. God has plainly stated that he expects us to be perfect. And because he expects this, he has made provision for us to be partakers of the divine nature. Only thus can we gain success in striving for eternal life. The power is given by Christ. As many as received him, to them gave he power to become the sons of God, even to them that believe on his name. John 1, 12. God's people are to ref- God's people are to reflect to the world the bright rays of his glory, but in order for them to do this, they must stand where these rays can fall on them. They must cooperate with God. Do you hear that? Cooperate with God, people. We have to cooperate with him. You know, if he show us the right narrow pathway and we refuse to walk the dark and, and popular popular pathway, we can't blame nobody but ourselves. I told you he's not going to beat you side the head. He's not going to be uh, like a Hitler. He's not going to be like a Muslim. He's not going to cut your head off. He's not going to force you, people. He give us alternatives. He give us options. He give us choices to make choices to make. He give us all the good choices and it's up to us to choose, okay, to choose that pathway, that narrow pathway. And I'm going to go ahead and read here now. God's people are to reflect to the world the bright rays of his glory. But in order for them to do this, they must stand where these rays can fall on them. Absolutely. They must cooperate with God. The heart must be cleansed of all that leads to wrong. All that leads to wrong. The word of God must be read and studied with an earnest desire to gain from his spiritual power. As I told you already in my videos, we must eat it daily eat it daily like you eat your breakfast and your lunch and your dinner we must eat the word the same way daily not once in a while not on easter not on uh christmas not on special days not once in a while we got to die daily die daily before the throne of grace we have to take our sins before him every night just like they used to take those sheep and cattle and goats and, and things and rams before God just covered their sin. We don't have to do that anymore. We need to go to the throne. Him, he is in the heavenly sanctuary. He's pleading for us people to give our life to him before it's too late. So we need to be taking our life to him, taking our sins to him, bowing down, seeking his face right now. But while you have breath to breathe, okay, while you have breath to breathe. So it says here, while I love it. I love this so much. The word of God must be read and studied with an earnest desire to gain from his spiritual power the bread of heaven. The bread of heaven must be eaten. The same word I just said. I didn't even know it was there. The bread of heaven must be eaten and assimilated, being becoming part of the life, becoming part of the life. Thus we gain eternal life. Thus is answered the prayer of Christ. Sanctify them through thy truth. Thy word is truth. John 17, 17. This is the will of God, even your sanctification. It is your will that your desires and inclinations shall be brought into harmony with the divine mind. Hallelujah. Is a question they're asking. Is it is it your will that your desires and inclinations shall be brought into harmony with the divine mind? We have to know that he is the only one can save us, people. Thank you, Ellen G. White, for that, from I High Calling. Oh, her, her words and writings are just wonderful. I love her stuff so much. Uh, people, I'm not going to keep you here long today. I just wanted to come before you on this high holy day and give you that word, that great word, to come out from among 
all these things, these bad companies and come out from the world, be not of the world. We are in the world, but not of the world. Give your life to Yeshua HaMashiach this day, people. Let him know that you love him, that you believe in him, that you care for him, that you want to be in his kingdom. Because you know the devil is out to seek whom he may devour. He do not care nothing about your children, about yourself. He would destroy you any way possible if he can. So you need to give your life to Yeshua who saves all mankind. He do not want to get rid of you. He said to choose life and not death. He want us to live, people. Do you understand? He want us to live. So I'm just going to be here with you today. I ask that you just uh, continually uh, write, uh, read your Bibles, uh, uh, just go before him. This is holy time now. This is a holy period now. We can go before him and say, Father, I forgive, my, forgive me of my sins. I ask that you come into my heart right now, Father. Fill me with your Holy Spirit. Let him know that you do want him in your life because without him, we can do absolutely nothing, people, nothing. John 14, 14 said, if you ask anything in my name, I would do it. And so we need to ask him, ask him. He's a gentleman. Ask him. Father, here I am. Take me, Lord. I Forgive me, Father. And so I'm just going to leave those words with you today, people. Father, I ask that you be with the people watching this video today. I ask that you come before them, Father. I ask that you help them. Send holy angels to be in the midst with them. Help them to know that you are the only one can save them, Father. I bind Satan and all his evil angels below, beyond, beneath. Mentioned and unmentioned, known and unknown. I bind all evil spirits on assignment against this video today, watching people watching, Father. I ask that you be with every name on a piece of paper in the prayer box that you have sent uh, people to me to send prayers in. Father, be with them in a mighty way. I ask that you supply their needs according to your riches and glory and Yeshua HaMashiach, whether it be uh, spiritually, mentally, physically, Father. Touch them this day, Father, I ask in the mighty name of Yeshua HaMashiach. I Thank you so much, Father, for your love for us. And we ask all these blessings in the mighty name of Yeshua, Hamashiach. Amen and amen. Shalom, shalom. I'll see you again on another short video. I will come back and do uh, Robert Greener, uh, where he was telling people to leave Florida, get out, get out. So I will come back and do that shortly. But you have a wonderful and blessed day, and I'll see you again on another video. Enjoy this holy time today, people. God bless. Amen and amen. Shalom.